Okay, so where I last left off, I was having issues with the foot rig in here, and that is still the case, uh, unfortunately. But I did find some things. Uh, I did investigate quite a bit. Um, so let me go over some of the things I found. The first one is that if you click on your root, you can go down here, and there's an override skeleton checkbox, and then you can set up the skeleton that you want. So there's a few in here. There's Mixamo, uh, UE5, Advanced I advanced Skeleton, Human IKM Gear, etc., etc. There's quite a few. So I made sure it was set to the UE4 skeleton because that is the mannequin that I chose, and that is the skeleton that we are using. Uh, it was on the UE5, and I believe that this skeleton setting kind of tells the modules what to look for and how to set themselves up on different skeletons. Um, unfortunately, that didn't actually fix anything. I was able to dig into the foot module and kind of find where this exactly starts to break down. Um, but I think to fix it would require kind of rewriting a bunch of stuff. And that seems like a different video entirely. So maybe in the future I'll do that. But for now, just to get some control on this, I'll just do add control, drag it under leg L and name it ball L and select the foot socket. And I'll do the same thing here. So this will be ball R and the foot socket. So now we at least have some controls there. Um, and now what I think I want to do is let's go ahead and create an animation blueprint. Um, I believe, let me double check. Let's go to skeleton. Find skeleton, SK mannequin skeleton. So I'm going to create an and a blueprint from here. I'm going to call it the zombie post process anim blueprint. And I'm going to move it to my zombie meshes. In the preview scene settings, I'm going to set this to the zombie, like so. And a post process anim blueprint starts off with an input pose. And then what we can do is we can add dynamics or other automations on top of this. So for now, I'm not going to have this do anything. I'm going to go to my mesh, my zombie. I'm going to go to my details, asset details, and search for post. And now you can see post process and a blueprint, and we're going to assign that. And you'll see that this thing shows up down here. It's telling us that a post process and a blueprint is running. Cool. So let's go ahead and save. And what I'm going to do, is just drag that off for a second. I'm going to drag our control rig in here so that you can see what we're going to try to fix here. So I'm going to turn on the FK. And let me do like detail lighting maybe. So if we twist this, you can see it gets pretty ugly up here. But we do have a twist bone but it's not doing anything. Um, it's just following the thigh right now. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do copy bone. Let's see if this is what we wanna do. Can't remember if it's that or rotation. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go to animation skeletal controls um let's see apply a percentage that's what i'm looking for okay so let's drag input pose into this this is going to give us one of these local two components and our target bone here is going to be the thigh twist 01 the source is going to be the thigh rotation should be x and the multiplier will be negative one. And then if we do this and do that, you'll see that it has reduced, uh, canceled out that twist. So we can also do, me just do like negative 0.9. So we just get a little bit more. 
And there you go. So let's do the same thing. I'll move these out over here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the calf. The source bone for that is the foot. And we'll do just 0.5 rotation. So we want half of the foot rotation. I'm going to copy these. Tidy this up. And then make these the right versions. So thigh R and calf twist R, foot R. Pile, save. Let's close that. So now if we rotate the foot, twist the foot, you can see that uh, we get some, some of that twist makes its way up the, the leg there. Let's go back to IK. So that will give us some better uh, twisting. I think the weighting here could uh, use some, some help. So let's go over to the content browser. I'm just gonna save everything real quick. And let's go to edit weights. And let's take a look at our thigh twist. Yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty, could use a better gradient there. So let's see here. Um, let's try doing it by vertex selection. Obviously, we could also add more twist bones. And let's do... Do this. Mirror. And okay, cool. Yeah, I think adding some twist bones would actually be pretty nice. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Go to skeleton, edit skeleton. I'm gonna find our thigh twist. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm gonna move this thigh twist up and keep that one about where it is. Do the same thing here. Move that one up, except Let's go to our skin and edit weights. So we have our thigh twist one. Let's do our thigh twist two. And then let's go ahead. Where's our knee at? Okay, good. It's way down there. Cool. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit much. It's not really what I was going for. Let's do a replace of zero up here. So thigh twist one should be like this, thigh twist two, again, really shouldn't start to have much influence until where the bone starts. And now let's go ahead to relax. Let's 
see a little bit up there. Okay. All right, let's take a look and see if this helps at all. So we'll want to go into our post process and a blueprint and we'll copy this. This will be, get this in the window here, thigh twist 02. Um, and this will be like negative point. Let's do four, five. All right, that's looking better. Still could use a little bit more, I think, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened here. I feel like these weights got pretty pretty screwed up like this shouldn't have any weights down here I might have to redo these leg weights entirely which is fine I don't mind doing that so let's do it first I just want to see how this is looking so let's move And we're going to go to a relax brush and I'm just going to come in here and try to make this look a little bit better. It's going to be really cool when they get the ability to like hide poly groups. I'm just going to get like a super tiny I don't have a Wacom hooked up, so I'm just going to do like a real small value brush and then just kind of add onto it to just get some of these like kinks out of the silhouette. Okay. Let's reset. Go back into weights. I'm going to do thigh twist two now. And actually, let me go back to the thigh twist one. I'm just going to like flood all of this down here. All right. And then thigh twist two, I'm going to zero this out and just basically get rid of any thigh twist two weights that we have so we can start from a clean spot. That's kind of weird. Let's get rid of some of these thigh weights up here. Don't mind them down here, that's fine, but I feel like up here it should just be that. All right, cool. So now that this is done, let's come in here. I don't love the fall off that's big. Okay, and then we'll just relax. I really don't understand how there's even weight of the thigh twist one down here, but like this uh, harsh transition right here is really where it goes from pretty bright white, this needs to be smoothed out. This is where I think that um, you're kind of seeing that transition in the twist. I 
Let's try going into mesh mode instead and grabbing like this and relax. Okay, now let's see where the calf is. Get this looking good again. Back into replace mode and go ahead and fix this up. Is this new? Paint new polygroups. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's really kind of hard to... I know that I can select faces, but it's I don't know if that's any less time consuming than this. All right. I'm also going to go here, set the strength to zero and get rid of the calf weights that are like up here on these pant pieces. Take a look at thigh here. All right. Let's go ahead and bend the calf. And edit the weights. Let's go to relax, calf. Now, what to do about these shorts? Let's see what happens if we do this. That's yeah, still very rigid. So I think that twist is looking pretty good. And then uh, now we just need to fix up the, the calf. All right. I'm trying to think of what to do here. If we want to weight some of this to the calf or let's reset, edit weights, come in here to the calf, replace Set this to one. And just kind of come in here that's not gonna look great yet but let's just see if it's on the right track
it's not the best um but uh it's not it's not terrible maybe we can get some of these let's go to add again and i'm going to do point 0.1 and get some more volume back on the calf here Okay, I think it's getting pretty close. Let's go back to relax and see what we can do here to In Maya they have, you know, the the Oh it does work. Holy shit. Didn't expect that to happen. So looks like if you hold down control, um like I'm I'm in add. And if I hold down control, I can actually subtract. Did not, it's a little bit clumsy, but then I can just go back in and do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to say that that is good for now. So let's go back to here, reset, edit weights, go into mesh. All right, cool. We could also play with some of these values uh, on the twist itself, and I haven't actually set up. The thigh twist two for the right leg. So let me do that. That's better. So yeah, that's how you can use post process and in blueprints to do some of your. Um, Kind of twists and things like that you could do pose drivers in here uh, maybe we'll have a reason to do that later go back and do this there we go um, but i think for now this works pretty well and uh, we can start getting started on the arms oops i just noticed got some bad weights in here so let's fix that real quick Edit weights. Uh, where's our hammer at? Can you hotkey these? That would be phenomenal. Or like a little better to utility widget that is a little bit easier to navigate. Okay, cool. I love though that you can just save your edits in here and then you just see them pop up right here um, in the level that's that's pretty great and yeah some of the you know how the shorts interact with the um, leg here could definitely be better I think if I were to do this like for a, a production asset I'd probably put a help proponent here and then do a pose driver to move it out of the way but I think for this uh, testing video and testing series this is good enough so yeah I'll call it here and uh, in the next one we'll pick up on the clavicles and arms <laughs>